Everyone is talking about how easy it is to make money with low content books, but with high competition and oversaturation, you're probably wondering, are low content books still worth it? Before you throw the whole side hustle away, I want to share with you a new way that people are making money that is earning them an extra two, three, even $5,000 a month passively. This side hustle has way less competition and even higher profit margin. Before I tell you what that is, I need you to understand something. The reason you're not selling books is not because of oversaturation. Oversaturation is a myth. It's only a problem if you're creating crappy products like everybody else is. Everybody is spending five minutes creating a product, pricing it low, and hoping it sells. And if you're one of those people, then yes, I wish you luck. It is going to be oversaturated for you. But for the people who create high quality products that nobody else wants to spend the time making, there is virtually no competition for you. In this video, I'll teach you what you should be selling instead of low content books, how to find highly profitable niches, what to actually put inside the books, and tips for how to sell more. And because I love you, I have a gift that I'm going to give to two special people at the end of this video so make sure to keep on watching to learn how to enter that giveaway this video is going to give you the strategy to create a real business it's not going to go over how to design the cover and the interior because i made a bunch of videos like that you can click the link up here or in the description to see those rather than filling your store with a bunch of low content books i want you to shift your focus over to medium content books with these books, instead of blank pages being on the inside like you would with a journal, the inside is going to contain coloring pages, puzzles, mazes, prompts, quotes, and any kind of activity that is going to bring value to your customer. Because they're more detailed, they actually have a higher perceived value, which means that you can charge more money for them. But you're not just going to create any old medium content book if you want to make thousands of dollars a month. Let's learn how to find profitable niches so that you can start making sales and just a few weeks, not months. To show you how to research, I'm gonna use examples from some of my subscribers' stores. Nyrell sent me her store to review, so let's look at this first one. Recovery Pal Injury Recovery Journal. Let's open that up. This is just a regular journal that we're gonna wanna turn into a medium content book. Let's do the research so that we can find the best niches to do that. To start my research, I'm gonna start with Recovery Journal because this is the basics of what she's selling, and let's see what other ideas come up. We can see from the search results that there are a lot of results 40,000 so what we want to do is we don't want to go up against 40,000 people that would be crazy what we want to do is find something that has low competition and low search results but let's just get some ideas immediately we have a sobriety so we can do something related to sobriety there's something interesting right here trauma bond recovery wow okay so narcissistic abuse we have that there let's type in that narcissistic abuse and trauma recovery we have something here about ptsd recovery what we're trying to do right now is get ideas that we're later going to research and see if this is a good niche for our medium content book another thing that i'm going to search is injury recovery journal and let's see what comes up for that we have a few different ones and even nyrell's is ranking right here which is good so i saw something about knee recovery that i can put here so when i see knee recovery what i'm going to start thinking is is there something for other body parts for example arm recovery or leg recovery or whatever so we can scroll all the way down and something that i saw that was interesting here is this stroke recovery activity book so think of what other types of illnesses can i find and maybe i can make a book out of that in here remember that i told you medium content is about puzzles and coloring books so we have it right here stroke recovery activity book puzzle workbook you know, I think that could really, really be an interesting thing. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say stroke recovery. Look at here, we have 4,000 results. That's a lot different than 40,000. So that means that we're getting even, even more niche. There's a big niche of recovery and then in that niche is stroke recovery. We see here that we have a bunch of activity books. We have something interesting here, relearn how to write. Now, most people would create handwriting books for kids. Let's go ahead and see what handwriting books for kids let's see wow sixty thousand results so for those people who were thinking about handwriting books for kids because it's in the top 10 niche video that you found on youtube look how saturated it is but from the research that we did instead of doing a handwriting book for kids let's type in handwriting book for stroke 
look at only 1,000 results, which one do you think you're going to have a better chance of ranking in? On the same niche of stroke, you can think what is related. A lot of things that I saw there was dementia. Dementia. So let's see if we can have a dementia activity book, right? Maybe there's something there. Okay, we have 10,000 results here, which is kind of a lot to be honest, but we can find a niche within a niche. Low vision activity book. All right, let's see if that's something. Low vision activity book. Only 1,000 results there. So which one do you think is better, going with a low vision activity book or going with a dementia? We're always going to want to go with a low vision because we have more chances of getting discovered there. So I'm going to also put that into my notes here. Now that we found a bunch of good niches, I want to show you how you would actually make one of these puzzle books or activity books. So in BookBolt, we're going to head to create and then click on BookBolt Studio. I'm going to quickly show you how you would access the parts of BookBolt that you would make, the puzzles and the mazes and all of that stuff. Again, I have a video going very in depth into that. I will link it up here and also in the description. In order to get to the interior library, we're going to click on this maze looking piece right here and we have a bunch of options. What I'm going to do is click on Word Puzzle. Now do you see a bunch of different puzzles come up and these are all that the activity books are filled with. Could be coloring pages, could be word search, could be Sudoku, could be crossword. We have all of that here in BookBolt crossword. We have mazes down here that we can add. So these are all activities that we can add to the senior citizen dementia um, activity book. If you need more ideas of what to put inside, you can always use the look inside feature from Amazon. So let's see if any of these have it. See, these are all puzzles. We can do a crossword puzzle like that. We can do a numbers puzzle. We could do a word search. We can do Sudoku. That's all it's filled with, guys. It, it takes a little bit more work but you can do it. So if I wanted to add a maze, for example, all I have to do is click on maze. I can select the pages that I wanted to apply to, click next. How big do I want the strokes to be? Now, because this is for senior citizens, we need to make the strokes as big as possible, right? Because they may not have good vision. So we can just put it up and make the strokes as big as possible. What size do we want it to be? I'm gonna make our maze a little bit smaller because again, this is supposed to be relaxing. This is not the Olympics brain game, you know? And then I press submit and BookBolt is going to start making the puzzles and putting them on the page. You see how it comes here like that? You can move it up, down, change the size, all that you want to do here. And you would do that for each puzzle. If you want an in-depth video of me teaching you that, please click the link here because I'm just showing you as an example right now that you can fill your whole book with things that are similar to this. If you find a really good niche, but it's too saturated, here's how you're going to find medium content books that's not too saturated and you can actually make money. Let's head over to the product tab in BookBolt. In this product search, you're going to enter a niche like diabetes, for example, and keep the category in general. This is going to show you all the different types of books that creators are making in this niche. So if you have a big niche like dogs or cats, we can go deeper and find what is the specific medium content books that we can create. Because we're just searching in the general category, all different types of books are going to come up, not just one type. So we have blood sugar trackers, we have swear words, we have diabetes journal, logbook, two-year logbook. There are a bunch of options. I even found something that was a diabetes coloring book that I thought was super cool. We wouldn't have even known to create a coloring book if we hadn't have come to the product search to do our research. Once I find something that I think is going to be a good niche, I want to check how is the competition on Amazon. So look at 1000 results for diabetes coloring book. We just found a super good niche here that we wouldn't have found if we didn't do this. OK, and we can create here. I also like to type in diabetes journal Four, and Amazon is going to give us a bunch of options like for women, stuff like this. Let's look at diabetes journal for kids because I saw that in the product search. 284 results that's even better if we create a book here 
we can rank as long as it's good, okay? Bookbolt is going to be one of the best research options out there for you. If you don't already have an account, I don't want you to worry because I am giving away two free annual Bookbolt accounts later in this video. Make sure you stay to the end to find out how to enter that giveaway and build your Amazon business today. I had another person send me their book. This book has an amazing cover. It is really pretty. Did you make this yourself? Let me know in the comment down below, French Martin, if you're seeing this. French Martin says, why aren't I selling? Okay, posted about one month ago. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this title. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put it into Amazon because I want to see this is a nice cover, but is it a good niche? Let's check. Let's press enter. First thing I see, 60,000 results animal coloring book for kids. Tell me, French, why did you choose this niche if it's 60,000 results and you're a new seller? If you go against the big dogs in this oversaturated niche, you're going to cry in your pillow at night because you're not selling anything. Not because you did something wrong and you didn't have a nice cover. It's just because you're biting off more than you can chew. Now, let me look through here and try to find you a better niche. I'm looking through all these results and I see a few different things. I see wild animals, I see happy animals, I see farm animals, I see baby animals and ocean animals. So these are all ideas for different niches because we wanna find a good niche, but go a lot deeper in order to find our cozy little niche, <laughs> okay? We need to stay in our lightweight category. So I'm gonna look this up, farm animals. And I'm going to see this farm animal have some better results. Let's see. Farm animal coloring book. I see this one is only 10,000. Okay. That's a little bit more doable. Can I think of anything else that is related to farm animal? Maybe I can do jungle animal. Maybe I can do ocean animal. One thing that I thought of was maybe zoo animal, right? How much is there? 10,000 as well. Okay. That's not bad. Maybe I can type in safari animal right and look it we're hitting the jackpot now because we went a little bit deeper instead of trying to do cute animal coloring book which is very broad now we're at safari animal which is only three thousand results well this is something that i can definitely see myself competing in we have a lot of people making safari animals not too much three thousand is very doable so how are we going to really differentiate ourselves well what i would do like this person did English and Swahili have it in another language. That's pretty cool. Or like this wild animal one did, coloring plus awesome facts, a did you know coloring book. Now that is a good idea. That's a really easy way to differentiate yourself that not a lot of other people are doing. You know why they're not doing it? Because it takes extra work. Now you're saying energy. I don't know about safari animals. I don't know these fun facts. This is where Google comes in and I can type in facts about safari animals and look at hippos can reach speeds of 20 miles per hour zebras have amazing eyesight wow google now you're helping me to build a business that i wouldn't have been able to build before if i was just targeting cute animals coloring book this is too broad okay now i want to give you three quick tips for how to sell more books because it doesn't have to take you a while to sell books look at i have posted books and it sells in just a few weeks not a few months so what did I do to get there? You need to have a great cover because this is what is going to get you noticed. Creating a great cover goes further than just finding the good images. You need to learn things like color psychology, okay? Because different colors produce different effects in a human mind. I want to use an example of a book that one of my subscribers sent me to review. This one is a peace book, okay? It's something about anxiety relief and stuff like that. But Nyrell, why did you put red with the flame? on the cover when I can go to the color psychology wheel over here and see that red means excitement, strength, and adventure. But if you're going for peaceful, we don't need people to get excited and strong and take action. No, we want them to be at peace. So according to the color psychology, I needed to put a yellow for joy, positivity, and warmth. Or I needed to put a pink that is calmness. This is what I mean by going above and beyond. Now, if we were to do the stroke recovery book, you know what? I have to research. How do stroke patients process color? Because this is important. If your brain is changed, you might process it differently. I was able to find this study, hospital wall color impact on stroke patients. 
So what did it find? It found that the blue wall color calmed the medical personnel, patients, and their family. The most soothing blue color was this variant of Arctic blue. So now I know when I'm creating my cover for the stroke recovery, I actually want to have an Arctic blue on the cover, according to this study. That's what I mean by creating a great cover goes beyond just looking nice or looking pretty. You got to go that extra mile. If you guys don't know about design, you got to take a design course on YouTube. Watch a 30 minute video about how to create pretty designs. Look around you. I want you to see what are advertisers using in their magazines or in their poster or a movie poster or a concert poster or something like this. So you can start to understand what looks nice and what catches people's eyes. When you're scrolling on Netflix, see what catches your eyes. What is it about? the font what is it about the colors what is it about how they arranged up you have to start studying the world around you learning the human psychology learning from the greats and then apply that to your book this is how you build a real serious business the next thing you should do in order to sell more is focus on the seo let's go back to nirel's book this namaste let that go okay this is supposed to be like an anxiety relief book. I was reading her description. So I can say uh, anxiety relief journal. The thing is, Nyrell, if I were to just read Let That Go, I wouldn't really know what it is about. What is it? I don't know. Is it about diarrhea? I have no idea. What are you letting go? Okay. But if I go to this anxiety relief, I can see like this one. It says the same thing, but it says anxiety journal for teens, stress relief, anti-anxiety, mental health guided journal. So do your research to have the proper SEO because right now this one is not going to get found because you don't have the right title. Do your research so that you know what are other people saying? What are the keywords that they're using? And then you can use it in your book. If you had had a great title, if you had changed the cover, and if you had some guided prompts in there or you had some positive quotes in there, right? It's supposed to be anxiety relief. Why don't you put some positive quotes or some spiritual quotes or whatever you want to put in there? And now you have a book that is ready to compete with the big dogs because this niche of anxiety relief journal is 10,000 results. So it's not that bad. You could rank here if you really put in that work, which leads me to my last tip about how to sell more. I need you guys to go above and beyond. We cannot in 2023 have these low quality books because if you put in low effort, you're going to get low reward. In order to have what others don't, you must be willing to do what others won't. Most people aren't willing to go the extra mile, put in the extra work, put in 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 hours of research into a book. And you're like, energy, 50 hours of research. What are you talking about? You go to 40 hours a week at your job. And then you know what? You have to do that job week after week after week, year after year after year. What if you put 40 hours into one book and it pays off for the rest of the year? You made $50,000. You made $10,000. And you don't have to work anymore for the rest of the year. Okay? We have to change our mindset and say, I am willing to do more because I want to have more. If you want to earn six figures, you have to put in six figure work. I know I'm being very intense, but I just want you guys to win, which is why I partnered with BookBolt for this giveaway, okay? I'm giving away two annual pro plans of BookBolt. You're gonna have access to all the features that I went over in today's video, from the research tools to the creation tools. This is everything that you need to actually build your business on Amazon and start making real money. I love BookBolt because you even have access to weekly calls with the people who work at BookBolt. So if you have any questions about research or creation or whatever's going on in your account, you can be on the live calls, talking to them and getting those questions answered. You have all the tools that you need for success. The way to enter that giveaway is to click the link in the description box below or the pinned comment. Also, let me know down below in the comment section, what is your goal amount? How much do you want to make per month from this? Remember, the only way to enter this is to actually click the link in the description. Don't put your personal information in the comment section. Don't message anybody on WhatsApp or Telegram, any of that. I know this video was helpful for you and I'm so excited to see what you're going to create.